Hi, welcome to the Linux DNS Server Configuration course. This is the sixth video of the series. Today we will discuss about configuring forward zone. In our last couple of videos, we have shown you configuring zone files during DNS Server setup. This video will clear you more about the forward zone configuration. So let's get started. So if you ask what is a forward zone in the DNS, each domain on the DNS server has two zone files. One is for name to IP mapping and another is for IP to name mapping. Forward zone is the file from where we retrieve the IP which is mapped against a host name or a domain name. Let's say if we hit on the browser www.yahoo.com, then the browser has to retrieve the IP of the www server of the yahoo.com domain. So at the Yahoo DNS, there is a file or database where an IP is mentioned against the WW name. Retrieving IP from the host or domain name is called the forward query and retrieving name from the IP is called reverse query. Now let's see this from the terminal. Let's say if we do a query host www.yahoo.com, this is the forward query www.yahoo.com is an alias uh, name here. Uh, I'll make you more clear about the uh, different record type. Then you will get a clear picture about the alias name. So here it retrieves uh, several IP which is assigned against yahoo.com. So we are requesting our DNS to retrieve the IP of www.yahoo.com and it retrieves several IP. So this is actually the forward query. Now if we do the reverse query, so we are asking our DNS server to find the host name of this IP. So this is in Edidiarpa. path. On the next video, I will describe about the reverse zone. Then you will uh, get more clear about the in Edidiarpa zone. So on the reverse zone, this IP is mentioned against this uh, host name. So this is the reverse query example. Now on the local network, instead of using IP to communicate with each computing device, we can assign a host name to each device and that name can be retrieved from the forward zone file. Remembering IP of each device is really hard and can be misleading. So we can assign meaningful name to each device. Now let's do the forward zone configuration for our local DNS server. We have logged into our ns1.mailserverguru.com. Now let's go to the etc namedy.conf file. Now let's define our local domain here. This is the zone mailserverguru.com and this is the master server file mailserverguru.com.db. This is the forward zone file. Allow transfer none. I have described most of the things on my previous videos. So our local zone declaration is complete here. Let's save it. Now let's go to the var named. Here, this is the forward zone file template named it localhost. Let's copy this. This is the SO record. I have described in detail how to configure the SA record here. So we are giving ns1.mailserverguru.com. This is the primary name server for this domain. And this is the domain admin's email address. But the email address should be in this form postmaster.mailserverguru.com. Now We need to provide the name server. This should be the first entry. NS1 is the host name and 
as this uh, forward zone is for the mailserverguru.com domain so this at the rate is actually added with each uh, host name we define here so ns1 dot and this at the rate means the mailserverguru.com so the full fqdn will be ns1 dot mailserverguru.com during our dns testing then we will uh, understand it more clearly now let's input the pc Twenty one in this way, we can put PC two, PC three, twenty two, twenty three. Now let's save it. We need to give permission. Now, if we restart the named daemon. So we are done configuring the forward zone. So if you do the query now, host pc one dot guru dot com, it should return the uh, twenty one IP. Yes. So the forward zone is actually working. If you do the pc two twenty two. PC3 23. Now let's input another host name on our zone file. Let's say FTP. We are installing FTP service on this server. So 0 0.50 is our FTP server. And let's say this is our web server which is 60 now if we query host ftp dot dot com it should return 50 www it should return 60 so our forward zone is actually working just fine So hope you understand the configuration. First, we define our local zone on the etc namedy.conf and at the var namedy directory, we created the forward zone file, which we specified on the namedy.conf file. So this is it for now. So thank you for being with me. And if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot to create more videos for you. So thank you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.